Welcome back to Food, Fitness, and Faith. Okay, today we're going to do Romans 12, 1. Respecting your body. Therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual worship. In the 12th chapter of Romans, Paul encourages us to take special care of the bodies God has given us. But it's tempting to do otherwise. We live in a fast food world where unhealthy choices are convenient, inexpensive, and tempting. I sure can attest to that. As a result, too many of us find ourselves glued to the television with a snack in one hand and a clicker on the other. I can think of my popcorn. God's Word teaches us to treat our bodies with respect and honor. So take a few minutes to think about your eating habits this morning. And then in the space below, great. Rate yourself on the quality and quantity of the foods you usually eat. And you can just grab, um, do it in part of a journal that you, um, that you could, your faith journal would be a perfect place to meditate and think and reflect on that. Okay, so we're going to focus on chapter 12 of the book of Romans, verse 1. And I'm going to go ahead and read it again. And you'll see that I underlined it in blue and green. If you look at the Bible reading journal series, color chart, the blue is to break it down and be more obedient and delight in his word. And the green is to maintain a prayerful posture. Okay, so therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. So the command there is for us to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. Then it's it would be our true and proper worship. And that would be my ongoing prayer as I take care of my body. For it to be a true and proper worship. Let's see how I inscribe the verses, this verse. And I probably did it in, yes, I sure did, a living Bible translation and the message. And you can see that I highlighted in blue as the command. And I also highlighted in green as a continuing prayer. In the message, what I, um, in this verse right here, don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fight it, you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, a command. Fix your attention on God. And my ongoing prayer will be, I will be changed from the inside out if as long as I can fix my gaze on God. My reflection is to honor my body and take good care of it. You know, monitor my rest. See, be mindful of my nutrition and see what I eat during the day. Hydration. How much water am I drinking? Exercise. And obviously, Try not to stress. Yeah, that's that's a challenge. That's an ongoing struggle. But it's to be mindful of if there are stressful circumstances for us to be mindful of self-care, and not only of self-care, but also how to manage the stress and how to distress at the end of the day. Lord, help me step out in obedience today by maintaining self-care strategies. Not only just a spa day or weekend or vacation, but on a daily basis basis. Lord, I would like to reach, share and repent my tendencies to be quite busy and my self-neglect at times. I lift up some of my prayers and I count up my blessings, which is the perfect antidote for um, discontentment. And then I went ahead and inscribed several verses. One of them is Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1, Romans 6 verse 13, and Hebrews 13, verse 15. And the one that I'm going to read at this point, it would be Hebrew chapter 13, verse 15. Through him, then, let us continually offer a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of lips that give thanks to his name. Amen. You all have a blessed day. We'll continue doing on Thursdays um, a little bit more about food, fitness, and faith. Talk soon. God bless.